Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate Santana. I'm a wife and a mom of two and a half year old, almost, Olivia Joy, and I am 33 weeks pregnant with baby Eden Elizabeth. She is going to be here before we know it. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking all about the checklist that I have to get done before she arrives. Just a little bit of context for you. I am a obviously second time mom and I am preparing for a home birth. So some of the items on my checklist are going to be very particular to the fact that I already have a child and to the fact that I am planning for a home birth. However, if this is your first baby and you are planning a hospital birth, you will still find some items on this checklist that will be helpful. If at any point during this video you hear something that resonates with you or that you like, go ahead and click that like button. It really helps me so much to just know what kind of content you guys like and helps my channel to grow. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions for me or any comments on anything that I mentioned. And then go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're interested in sticking around for more content. Also, I feel like where I'm sitting today, because of the mirror, I have like a crown on my head. So, all right, anyway, that's random. So to start, I'm gonna start with some basic things and then move on from there. So I have 17 items that I think are really important. The first item is to prepare the nursery as much as possible with major things that you want done in there before the baby is born. Now, this is not because the baby will necessarily need the nursery or need it to be complete at all. They won't really care, especially since most babies, I would assume, are going to stay in their parents' room for a bit. Eden will definitely be with us for a bit in our room. But the reason why I'm getting her nursery done is because I am pretty much exhausted after birth and there is nothing or no part of me that's going to want to finish the nursery after she is here. So I want it to feel complete. I want it to feel ready to go so that I can focus on bonding with her, on adjusting to life with a toddler and a newborn, and I don't have to worry about what sconces I want in the nursery. So we are finishing up the nursery right now. It is pretty much done. We've ordered sconces and like a little poof footstool for my nursing chair. But other than that, it is pretty much ready to go so that I don't need to worry about that as we get closer to birth and also when she's born, I don't wanna be worrying about it. The second thing is to wash all baby related items and to do this, my suggestion and what I'm gonna be doing is with unscented laundry detergent that is as clean as you can possibly find. With Olivia, I washed all of her stuff in draft. Don't ask me why, it smelled amazing. I went and smelled her clothes all the time and then she had really sensitive skin and was like breaking out because of the draft. So I had to rewash absolutely everything. So I'm go ahead and I just get really clean, unscented laundry detergent. I wash as much as I can. I'm talking about clothes, sleep sacks, blankets, swaddles if you're gonna use them, the wrap that I'm gonna wear her in, play mats that you're planning on putting the baby down on, burp cloths, basically all baby related items should get washed before baby arrives so you don't need to worry about having something clean ready to go for them. Number three is to gather easy meal ideas and even to make some of them and freeze them. I'm planning to try out some meals in the next few weeks to see if we like them. Obviously. I know I have family and friends around here who will be helping with meals as well, but A, I don't wanna bank on it, and B, you just don't know if every night is gonna be covered. I have been cooking quite a bit recently, more than I would say is even normal for me, and I know that that is not gonna be something that I'm going to want to do, especially those first probably like 12 weeks. So I'm looking specifically for crock pot meals where it's really easy, you just dump all the ingredients in in the morning, you turn it on, and then at dinner time it is ready to go. I'm sure that my husband is gonna jump in and help as well, and like I said, family and friends, but I just want some good, easy meal ideas so that I'm not stressed out that we don't have dinner and that we're like ordering takeout, although, I will say we ordered takeout quite a bit with Olivia the first few months and you make it, you live, and it was fine and it was good and it worked for us. So that's something that we may need to do as well. So the fourth thing is to prepare for my own after birth needs. Obviously, if I'm planning a home birth, I am planning a vaginal birth. So there are certain things that you need to take care of yourself and your body after birth. So thinking about the little like peri bottle, the little tux wipes and a sits bath, I'm going to freeze some pads of 
goals. If you guys are interested in seeing what my own afterbirth kit looks like, go ahead and let me know, know down in the comments and I can show you a video once I have that kit ready. But I'm planning to just prep the bathroom with everything that I need to take care of myself, disposable underwear, it's kind of like a really crazy scene. <laughs> the first few times you go to the bathroom after birth, you bleed for quite a few weeks. So I just wanna be prepared for that bleeding and all of the recovery that my body is going to need by stocking up on those products ahead of time. Number five is to prepare for nursing. So I am planning to breastfeed my baby again. I did with Olivia as well. I wasn't as prepared with Olivia as I wanted to be, just knowledge-wise. And I didn't have a lot of products, although the hospital gave me some things, which was nice. I'm not going to have that this time if I have a home birth. So a friend actually already got me off my registry gel pads for your nipples, which were really helpful for me last time. But thinking about that, thinking about clothing, robes, anything that's going to be comfortable for me to nurse in. I want to get some new nursing bras because I'm really not liking the ones that I have right now. And just thinking about lactation cookies and other items, the mother's milk tea, things that I'm going to want to do to boost my milk supply and also just be comfortable in those first few days and even into weeks where you can have some discomfort from all of the action going on uh, that is not your nipples are just not used to when you haven't been nursing for over a year. Number six, I want to prepare sibling outfits and also think through what the sibling introduction is going to be like. I actually watched a video recently on YouTube where the mom made a really good point and she said when the toddler comes back to meet the baby, yes, they want to meet the baby, but they also really want to see you because they haven't seen you for a bit of time. So when Olivia comes in to see us after the baby is born, I don't want to be holding Holding the baby possibly my husband will be but I want to be able to give her a hug and talk to her and have her come to me first and have me be free from the baby and then introduce her to the baby possibly some matching outfits or something cute I don't know if budget allows I may find something I may not and I'm thinking of doing sibling gifts as well so Olivia can give a gift to Eden and Eden Eden can give a gift back to Olivia, so I need to plan for that in the next few weeks as well. Next, number seven, I want to plan out snacks and drinks for birthing time, both for me, my husband, and also for my midwife and her assistant. So things that are just gonna be easy to grab and easy to snack on so that everyone stays full of energy. And I know my midwife has already mentioned that orange juice is great to have on hand to mix with Floridex, which is something she's gonna recommend I take right after birth. And the vitamin C is really good in the OJ. So I'm definitely gonna have that on hand and just some snacks so that everyone stays comfortable while I'm in labor. Number eight, I want to have a very solid plan for Olivia during birth. My parents have already said that they will come and get her when I am in labor and take her over there but I am thinking of ways that that can be a super smooth process both for them and for Olivia thinking about what activities I want to have set aside to give to them so that she can have them at their house a few puzzles her morning basket probably what does she need to sleep over there what particular foods can I give them so that she has some of her favorite foods there I just really want to have a checklist and like a packing list that's easy to get together and a really solid plan for Olivia when she's not in our care so that she feels as comfortable as possible and so that my parents also have the easiest toddler that they can possibly have while they're watching her for us. Number nine, I want to plan for the first week after birth, specifically thinking about Olivia, who is going to watch her on particular days. I'm sure my in-laws are going to want to come meet the baby. When can they be here? When can they support her? When can she possibly go see her cousins? What are some of the activities that she can do with my husband? Just basically what is a rough plan going to look like so that I can rest with Eden and so that Olivia isn't really upset about the fact that I am just laying around with a new baby, but that she is occupied and that she has people to care for her and to entertain her, especially during that first week where it's going to be a big transition for all of us. So it's better to plan and prepare and think through 
what that week is going to be like for my toddler. Also thinking, what are the special things that her and I have that I can make sure to include every single day and that Eden won't replace so that she still has those special moments with me throughout that first week where her world is going to be like completely rocked. Number 10, I am doing hypno babies, which I will link down below. I've talked about a little bit before, but there are a ton of resources and PDFs that they give us that I want to print out things for my midwife and my husband to read over and the assistant so that they can best support me and remember kind of what I'm trying to do, certain cues and things like that. They have a contraction counter spreadsheet that Andrew can write on. So I need to print all of those resources out and make sure that they're compiled in one place so that my midwife and Andrew can look at them. If you are not doing hypno babies, you still may have certain pain strategies, especially if you're trying to go epidural free. There are certain things that you may have talked over with your husband, certain ways that he could like do counter pressure on your back or there's certain positions you can be in. So it's good to just have any of those resources printed out to take with you either to the hospital to have with you at a home birth if you are practicing or planning for any particular strategies for pain management. Number 11, I need to plan and gather materials for the atmosphere for birth. So I'm thinking about candles. What particular lighting do I want? Do I want any affirmations taped up on the wall? Do I want a particular ambiance in the room, a playlist of music? Just whatever I want the atmosphere to be like a diffuser perhaps with some essential oils. I need to make a plan for that. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see what I come up with for the final atmosphere for the room. I've actually decided that I'm going to, I plan to give birth or at least set the birthing tub up in Eden's room so that upstairs we have Eden's room where I can give birth. We have my own bed where I can give birth or just quickly go after birth and the big shower is there. Our bathtub is there. So everything is needed upstairs. Now I just kind of need to fill in the details about what I want the atmosphere to be like. String lights, whatever I need to decide in the next few weeks what that atmosphere is going to look like in her room and also just upstairs in general. Number 12, this does apply to me and it may not apply to everyone, but I do have a full-time job. So I need to discuss maternity leave with my HR person at work. There is paperwork that you're going to need to sign. You need to look into exactly what type of maternity leave you get, what coverage you get, how much you're going to get paid, all that. So I need to take care of maternity leave at work in these next few weeks. Number 13, this one's a little bit silly, but just body prep. So do I want to paint my nails? Do I want to paint my toenails, shave my legs, shave, wax, all of those things. Figure out what you want to do as far as just making yourself feel pretty. Not that it really matters. Honestly, I looked like a puffy crazy person when I gave birth to Olivia. So I'm not like that concerned about what I look like, but if there's anything I want to do as far as prepping for my body, I definitely do feel like I kind of want to paint my nails. So things like that I can plan for, especially as we get closer to the due date. Number 14, and honestly, this should be number one, but it is prayer. Every night with my husband, we are praying over Eden's birth and over the transition from our for our family of three into a family of four. So we are just intentionally praying together over this birth and making that a big part of our preparation, just including God and in everything and asking him to be with us for the safety of both myself and for baby Eden. Number 15 is I need to make a plan for my placenta, which sounds a little bit weird, but my midwife wife told me at my last appointment, it's yours to so do with whatever you want to. I'm not going to encapsulate it and like take it as a pill. Although I've heard of people doing that. I recently heard that it contains toxins that were basically being like filtered out from going into your baby. And so I do not want to consume those. She actually suggested planting a tree. So digging a hole, putting the placenta in there and then planting a tree on top of it. She said that all the nutrients in the placenta make the tree grow really well. And I thought that was kind of cool because then there will always be this tree where its roots are like the organ that supported my child. So I think that that's going to be the plan, but I need to solidify that and figure out what we are going to do with the placenta. 
Number 16 is deciding on a birth photographer. For photography, I want my sister to actually come. She wanted to be at the birth anyway, and she takes amazing pictures. I will actually link her Instagram down below. She has an amazing Instagram at Inspired Motherhood, so you should check her out. But I'm going to have her come and be there for the birth, and she's also going to be the birth photographer, so I'm very excited about that. If you want a birth photographer as well, I highly suggest figuring that out ahead of time. I didn't think I wanted to many pictures from my labor with Olivia, but to be honest, now that I'm two and a half years out, I mourn the fact that I don't have pictures and I have just these fading memories. So I'm absolutely looking forward to having pictures and documentation of Eden's birth. And number 17, this applies just to home birth and that is to order my home birth kit. So I'm going to need to do that around 35, 36 weeks so that it is here in time for 37 weeks. This is a kit that if you are having a home birth, you need to purchase with a bunch of disposable things like disposable pads to lay down on the bed and other items that are going to make you comfortable during home birth that your midwife is not going to provide. My midwife is going to provide a lot of things. She said she comes in with massive amounts of bags of stuff, but there are a few items that she's not going to provide that we need to buy. So I need to make sure I do that coming up in a few weeks. Did I miss anything? Help a sister out here, guys. If I missed anything, please let me know down in the comments. And I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye guys.